Hi, my name is Brian Atkinson and I am the Southeast representative for Montana at Keystone RV. I am here at the Super Show in Tampa with Lazy Days RV and we're going to show you a few reasons why the Montana High Country is amazing. So here, first and foremost, outside of the outside of the high country, you have tons of awning space. So whether you're cooking out or just sitting outside having a good time with the family, you have lots of of awning space. You have outside speakers, so if you're tailgating or just uh, again sitting outside having a cold refreshing beverage, you have lots of awning space. Friction hinge door, so guess what? Um, super easy to get in and out of the Montana. You have heavy duty steps going up into the, up into the high country. You have uh, frameless windows and you have lots of storage outside. This is what we call our 381TH. What makes this particular floor plan special is guess what? You have 40 feet of living space and you have absolutely a place to put your, whether it's a fully dressed Harley or a full size golf cart with a top on it. So I mean, so what you're getting is super versatile for the, because for the first time, you're legitimately getting 40 feet of living space in an FL, which is of course a top selling floor plan, um, but you're getting to bring your toy with you as well. Um, so here, let's, let's take a walk inside and take a look at what we've got. This is the 381TH from Montana. Um, Lazy Days is carrying this at the Tampa Super Show and what a great versatile floor plan it is. Once you're inside of the front living room, what makes it amazing is that you have an incredible sitting space. So you have theater seats directly across from the TV. You have two beds, so whether you're bringing the grandkids, your own kids, or just friends and neighbors, you literally have uh, both of these make into a bed. Um, so this makes this living area uh, just a, a nice separate place to, to hang out and have a good time. Whether the kids are playing video games or uh, you're watching a movie, it's a, it's a great place to, to, to just hang out. And it, of course it has a lot of seating as well. Um, at this point, of course you have an extra high ceiling. You have a heat pump inside of this high country, which is a super nice feature because if it's 40 degrees or warmer, the combination of this fireplace and the heat pump will heat this entire camper. So A, you're using, uh, you're gonna be using the campground electricity, which is typically free, uh, versus LP, which is gonna cost you money and, and you know, in their pain to fill up all the time. This is the kitchen of the 381TH by Montana at Keystone RV. Uh, this is, we're at the Super Show, and what, we're, what we have here is a full-size kitchen with the big microwave, a nice stovetop, tons of solid surface counter space, storage over here, seating for four, nice large extendable table, ceiling fan here. We're in the southeast, so it obviously gets nice and hot down here. So guess what? A ceiling fan to push cold air around is always, always, always a nice feature. And then the residential fridge. What makes the residential fridge better than the RV fridge? Well, here for a lot of people it is. I'm gonna guess, let's see, next to, uh, next to firewood at the campground store, the number one purchased item is ice. So the, the residential fridge versus the RV fridge, residential fridge has an ice maker, okay? It's gonna be easier to repair. Guess what, you can call the Maytag repairman to come and fix it as opposed to waiting in line at a, de at a dealership, right? Guess what else? When you replace the fridge, it costs $1,000 to replace. An RV fridge costs somewhere closer to $2,000 to replace. In addition to that, um, it gets colder faster. So here, the combination of all of those things. So how does it work? I mean, guess what? You have a 1,000 watt inverter and two batteries. The combination of, of those three things are great features because if you're traveling down the road, the 1,000 watt inverter and the two batteries are charging this refrigerator and let's say you're gonna stay the night in a Walmart campground, that 1,000 watt inverter and two batteries are literally gonna run this fridge for an extra 12 to 14 hours. So 
while you're staying overnight, your refrigerator's still running. If you're staying at Orange Beach, a storm comes through and, and knocks out your power, you still have power with that 1000 watt inverter and two batteries, again, for an additional 12 hours. So this residential fridge um, is bigger and it's better. It's colder and, and yeah, it's versus the RV fridge, it's a great feature to have in an RV for sure. Um, once you're walking back into the Montana, here we always have the one piece shower. Um, there's always a place to sit across from the shower head. So if you know mama goes to the beach and she needs to shave her legs, she has a place to sit down and do that. We always have extra large bathrooms with a lot of room. And in this floor plan, um, as boasted, basically what we're, where we're at right now is there is a garage below us. So imagine if you will, that your Harley or your golf cart is literally going to be underneath you. So you have 40 feet of living space, a full FL floor plan in the Montana High Country lineup, and you still get to bring your toy. What's better than that? A nice TV in the bedroom, of course, lots of storage um, all around this, this high country. Um, but here, let's go outside of the Montana once more so that I can show you the garage, because guess what? This is a beautiful camper and it's a 40 foot, you know, of front living space, but where the magic happens is where the toys go. So this is where the magic happens with the 381TH. What I've already shown you is 40 feet of living space inside of that camper. So what you've got is you've got a big bed, the big shower, you've got a dedicated pantry, you've got, uh, you've got seats for six people to sit up there, both of the couches make into beds. You get all of that camper, but guess what? You still get to bring your fully dressed Harley or your golf cart, right? So what's nice about this is what you have here is a garage and you're probably trying to think, well, how is a full size golf cart gonna fit in here? Well, your bed is actually right here. And let me show you how the golf cart's gonna fit. We're literally raising the bed in this camper so that you can put a full-size golf cart inside. And there you have it. Now, you literally have a toy hauler. You go from a 40-foot front living room to a toy hauler. Something to put your toy in, 100 inches deep. So guess what? Again, you know, a full-size golf cart with a top on it ready to go. So now you're ready to camp because you've got living space up front. You've got a, a big kitchen with everything that you need there. You've got the big bathroom. You've got all of the check marks inside the camper and you get your toy as well. So that's the magic of the 381TH is because it's very versatile because guess what? You get to bring everything that you want and have your living space as well. Uh, this is Brian Atkinson from Montana at Keystone RV at the Tampa Super Show with Lazy Days RV and we are going to sell a ton of these. So come on out and we'll give you a great deal.